love bugs this is where i'm going back at you one more again i hope everybody is doing blessed today i'm doing blessed and highly favored and hope the same for you and if this is your first time coming to my channel welcome much love to you and for my returning subs my extended family thank you so much for the positive vibes you send me each and every day the kind words they are greatly appreciated and if you've been watching my videos and have not already what are you waiting for like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video and if you feel like you're comfortable enough go ahead and drop me a line or two i would love the chance to get to know you or even if you want to talk about your gift or just give me a uh, positive, you know, positive feedback about my video. Or just give your opinion about my video. Give you two cents too. It would be greatly appreciated. Or if you feel like you enjoy what you heard and resonate with what you heard with, go ahead, spread the word. Like, thumbs up, even share. It'll greatly be appreciated. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel today. Um, today I'm listening to, oh my gosh, this music is so relaxing. It's something that, you know, if you have a good hour to yourself, you know, in the morning, if you get yourself up a couple of hours early and you got an hour of peace and quiet to yourself, just to basically start your day off, this is a great motivational meditation to actually listen to, get your vibes up and just put you in good spirits and keep you in good energy. Go ahead and last you for the day if you can, you know, depends on what you got to deal with during the day, but... It'll, it'll basically, you know, ease it over a little bit. So I greatly recommend this. Um, the morning drum rhythmic music for positive energy, morning charge of energy. So I'll we'll post that link in the description box below. And give you that good review feeling. So, but yes, my video today is about something I haven't really talked about in a while that, you know, I'm still fairly new to and I'm still learning on. Is about white witches pushing out good intuition and good intentions and learning about oneself it's, it's just really crazy because it's just like learning about this it was like ever since i was little i was always attracted to you know nature crystals animals and stuff like that so recently finding out about being a white witch was like the characteristics and stuff like that i know people are like god dog girl, so how many things do you attach to i'm, I'm still learning <laughs> it's just like when you when you open up and you open yourself up to the universe and say that you want to learn a lot about yourself and my mom used to always tell me there's something very gifted about you you were very special my dad used to say the same thing and i really didn't know how deep it went so it was just like things that I did when I was little, you know, seeing things, you know, knowing when the weather was going to change, knowing when somebody was going to call or anything like that. So, you know, it was just really, it was different, you know, it was really different. So it was like, you know, um, like going through all that and it, it's just like, wow, you know, learning all these different things and then the movies that I attract, you know, uh, Sabrina Teenage Witch, you know, Bewitch, um, the movie back in the early 90s, I think it was like 80s, early 90s, called Teenage Witch, when this girl was like a nerd, and, you know, she was finding out about herself, and then she didn't know she was a natural born witch, she actually had these gifts inside of her, so it was just like, all these movies that I was attracting to myself were basically telling me the life that I was living, or I was about to live, and didn't realize it, so it's just like, when I, when I finally, when this finally stepped into my lap, and dropped into my lap, all these memories started coming back, it's like, wow, you know, I watched, you know, um, American Horror Story, The Coven, and I mean, I would watch that on repeat, and I loved it, because so many of these girls did not realize what their, you know, some of them did know their, you know, their powers, some of them didn't know it. So it's just like, you know, going through life and find out about these different things when I can resonate with these movies or when I went home to New Orleans, I really felt home. And I start having visions as I walk around, you know, the you know, uh by the no no the cemeteries and you know, by Bourbon Street. I can see, you know, back in the day with my family we were mixing up potions and you know, it was just white magic, and it was something very beautiful and very mystical, and it was like nothing bad or anything like that, or worshiping, you know, anything dark or anything like that, it was all white and all good intentions, so it was just like, for me, learning about these things, it was just so crazy, watching different videos about it, not even knowing, you know, when you cook and you you're, you're praying over your food and you're, you're making it with love. That's the reason why it comes out so good and people eat and people want to go 
to sleep afterwards. And they were like, girl, you know what? Oh my God, your food was so good. What did you do? I made it with love and didn't even know you're actually casting a spell over your food when you do that. You know, in the early mornings, you know, when I used to go outside, um, and just take my cat outside just for a fresh air or go feed the cats that I have outside. I would just look at the sky and the next thing you know I start hearing things and did not know that was uh, cloud scary. And you you know, you're looking for your answers from the universe universe from that which begins to a lot. Um are the uh the, when you watch stars and stuff like that, which I used to do, I used to always love to look at the Big Dipper and, you know, try to find the shapes in the sky or stuff like that, and that was star sky. So you're, you're doing all these different things and you're finding out, you know, about yourself and becoming one with nature, like I try to walk at least five days a week, you know, and get my answers from the universe, you know, because I'm so in touch with my nature side now. It's just like, even though my allergies be on hyperdrive, you know, I still be trying to, you know, trying to get out there and do that. So it's just like when my sister, Twin Flame, um, was going through a situation where she had had surgery, and it's just like, I could feel her going through her pain, and I'm just like, you know, I, I hated seeing my sister go through this pain like this. So I wanted to be able to fix it. I said, well, let me try something. And she was my first guinea pig. <laughs> she was my first guinea pig. She said, go ahead. You know, I was like, you trust me? And, you know, and it's like with our twin telepathy, I had to, you know, I prayed over her picture, you know, pushed out good intentions, you know, replaced her pain with love and love more for comfort and it's next to you know not even a good five minutes went by you know and I, I just told her in my head I just said her name and just said you know let me touch you you know let me go ahead and replace this you know went from Hecate to Gaia Mother Earth called everything that was holy and pure to go ahead and you know take all that anger and you know whatever else was building up in her to replace that with warmth, love, and comfort. And next thing you know, she's like, sis, I don't know what you did, but all of a sudden, you know, um, uh, it, it just felt like a warm bean pad on my stomach. And I said, well, I replaced everything with, you know, love, warmth, and comfort. And she was like, I feel it. I feel like I'm loved. I feel like I'm comforted and pain that way. So it was just like really crazy. I don't know why my cat keeps popping that door open like that. So it's kind of annoying. But, you know, it's just like learning all these different things about myself, you know, and, you know, doing more research on it, you know, practicing things. Uh, just basically, it's just like, you know, if you want to do a protection spell on yourself, it's just basically protecting yourself. And they had these spells online, so you can go, just go ahead and you know, push it out with good intentions and stuff like that. I do. But when it comes to the bad things like hexes and spells and stuff on people, I don't do because it's just, you know, that's not necessary. If you have to put a spell on somebody, it's not worth it. You know, you have to get a love spell, that's not worth it. You know, if you have to do love spells on people, you don't need to be with them if you have to put a spell on them for them to love you. So it was just like I know. I knew stuff to start heightening because it was a couple months ago I did a video and I was saying I knew somebody put some bad vibes towards me and the next thing you know, I found out somebody put hex on me and then, you know, and it was just like from there on, it was just crazy. So I had to protect myself from all these different things and it became stronger and it's just even my sisters, they were just like, you know what, you are really strong, you were able to sense things and you weren't able to sense them and, you know, now when things happen, I recognize them and know what they're for. So it's just good when I'm learning more about myself and I can be able to help the people that are close to me, especially if they're on the vibe, the same vibe as me. You know, anybody else, I you know, I go ahead and help me anyway, but if, when it comes to my sisters that are really close to me, I always just make sure, like, hey, you know, I'm really down on them. I'm just like, hey, you got, we got these, you know, these links, you know, I need you to look at, you know, check these out. You might be able to find something for yourself. And it's just, it's a good feeling when I can hear one of my sisters come back and tell me, you know what, if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have known this and this and this, uh, this about myself. Or I would have felt like I was going crazy. I'm like, no, you're not going crazy. You know, you're not going insane. You know, we all have to go through these things. And it's just like when movies are lasted in our laps, or even the books you might read, you might be attracted to, it might have a subliminal message to you that you really never know about. So it's just like all these things I'm learning about myself is just like very beautiful to me. And 
it's just when I can know that, you know, hey, I'm a white bitch, it's kind of cool, it makes me feel like, oh gosh, is there werewolves and goblins and all this other stuff out, but you never know, but it's just a good thing when I can become one with na nature, I can get feelings off of, you know, my, my extended family, and it's just like, especially when I can know somebody and not really know them and be able to tell them there's things, there's no way of me finding out that their family wanted them to know that only they would know. And it's just a blessing I'm able to do that. So it's just if you're finding out that you're a witcher, if you want to practice these things, it, it takes time. And it's a good thing when it's, you know, when you're practicing it or if it's come by nature, which is something that's inherited. You know, it's just something that you, you really have to, you know, practice on and research on because that, that's what I'm doing when it comes to Twin Flames, Kaofas, that's pretty much all I do is just research, research, research. So it's just like, you know, with my extended family, especially for ones that I'm so used to going on your channel, I'm sorry, I've been just so busy, you know, trying to find out all these things and just know about these things about myself and, you know, so I can be able to come back and tell you things that you might want to know about yourself or you might not have been able to, you know, catch on to that I might have caught on to or something you might be able to tell me that I didn't know. So I hope that this video resonates with you. I hope you find peace and light in everything that you do. Keep me in your prayers. I will definitely do the same for you. Uh, send out as much love and light as possible. Send out as much love and light as possible. Keep me in your prayers. I'm going to definitely do the same for you. You know, spread the kind words to one another. Keep each other in, in, in each other's good vibes and good, good prayers. And it will greatly be appreciated. And I will talk to you later. Much love, peace, and be wild.